Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, March 5th, 2021, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Uh, it would appear on paper that we had another horrible day today. Uh, it wasn't quite as horrible as you might think, however, so just stick with me to the end here. And I'll explain. Uh, you're looking at the Dow here. This Dow continues to do these crazy alternate day patterns. You know, we had two big down days here on Wednesday and Thursday. And then, of course, today totally reverts that. And you might know we were short the basically short the market with UVXY. Uh, that didn't go so well for us. It's just, uh, it's it's really hard to trade when stocks are doing this. But anyway, the Dow had a good day. It's up uh, 572 points uh, on the close. And it basically has completely negated this, these two bad days that it just had. Um we only had three positions coming in, and every one of them was negative. We closed out $10,000 in negative trades. Yep. And then, from what I'm showing you right here, we got into two positions. None were positive, two were negative, and we're carrying negative uh, $12,500 in open trade over the weekend. So, out of five trades, it appears we're negative five for five. Not a single winner in there. And they're all bad, okay? That's what it looks like. However, my spirits are kind of up in spite of this horrible day. And I'll tell you why. Um... Let me show you. I go. I just show you one stock here. This is ANCN, which is Anciano Anciano Therapeutics, and um, <laughs> I mean, this was just a nightmare today until after the stock closed. We. Let's see, on Wednesday we, we bought this thing, you know, it pops up here at the beginning of the day, and then it just sells off for the rest of the day, and we got out of that with a $10,000 loss. Big loss, because we're buying a lot, of, because this is cheap stock, it's like, we bought it here at just under $4, so we're buying, like, over 16,000 shares of it. You know, when you have all that and it goes against you, yeah, it's a lot of money. So we lose $10,000 yesterday on this. Look at all this thing. This thing, just the bottom fell out of this thing after we got out. Thank God it didn't gap down and do that to us. I mean, we would have been like $25,000 out on that stock we were selling it down here fortunately that isn't what happened we sold it there for a ten thousand dollar loss but i was just thinking you know i don't want to hear about Anciano therapeutics again and then this morning it kind of does a repeat of what it did wednesday only more extreme it leaps way up here and we end up fill getting filled here for, 45 minutes in the day on this big spike up. And we weren't profitable in that more than five seconds. And immediately turns around and goes against us. Down here we were negative like $13,000. And then it comes back and on the close today we're negative $8,300 in Anciano 
therapeutics. So I'm just so disgusted. I mean, we're just getting beaten bloody in these stocks. And then to get into this stupid thing that looks looked to me on the close today like there was just no hope for this stock. How the hell did I get this into the portfolio and so on and so forth? But then, okay, now comes the good news. In the aftermarket, this thing takes off. And it goes from negative $8,000 on the close to, at one point, positive uh, at least $10,000. You know, an $18,000 swing there in the aftermarket. And I think right now it's... Uh, up maybe six thousand dollars, but anyway, and I I've already checked, and nobody seems to know why it did this. Well, that's a joke. Things just don't happen for no reason, and I've said this before. If you see a stock going up and nobody seems to know why it's going up, buy it. Because the why is usually insider trading. And that's what I'm suspecting with this. That this $18,000 swing in the aftermarket has to do with insider trading. And we could see big profits on this thing on Monday. I can't promise this. But I guarantee you it's not going to open lower on Monday. <laughs> it's just not. Something... Somebody rung a bell on this baby, and they were buying like crazy. Now, I'll tell you uh, my cynical view of all this. This happens fairly frequently in the biotech industry. And what happens is they release, you know, people that are working in the company, the CEOs, they're father-in-laws, the brother-in-laws, their aunts and uncles. Everybody knows what's really going on with these uh, companies. And so they're all in here buying when this thing is killing us down here today. And then on Monday, they're going to all be selling this for huge profits. That's what I think really goes on. It's called insider buying. It is illegal, but everybody does it. And it's particularly prevalent in the biotech industry. That has been my experience. I'm certain that's what's happening in Ancano um, Therapeutics. And I bet you we get out of this with some nice profits on Monday or possibly even Tuesday if it really screams. So we'll just have to see. That's all I know. But anyway, this has lifted my spirits because I just don't think I could have handled uh, five losses and no wins today after the horrible week that we've had. And um, if any of my customers are out there and got as disgusted with this as I was and sold it, without following the system, you were pretty dumb. And you're going to feel really dumb on Monday when you see this thing going to big profits. Anyway, you know my speech. Follow the system. And I'll leave uh, with a little joke. I, re I do read, uh, you know, the comments in various... Um, well, I get this off of stock sweats, okay? It's fun. They, they, everybody has an opinion. They post, like, what's... With GameStop, oh my God, they they had, they probably had fifty thousand comments on GameStop that last run. Anyway, not as many for this, but they had quite a few of them. In the one I will quote you, I thought was kind of humorous. It says, "I love the smell of bear blood and shit on the evening breeze." <laughs> So that's what that guy thinks of people who are trying to short this thing today. 
and they are going to be hurting and probably even hurting worse on Monday. I hope so. Hey, listen, you guys have a great weekend. And this is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you here on Monday. And we're going to see what happens with this thing.